Well, good morning. Hey, have you ever heard the expression where the rubber meets the road? Uh, it's just meaning uh, there's one of those moments of truth or an aha uh, moment. There's a joke about a lady that she uh, had all kinds of religious jargon all over her car, bumper stickers, little sayings, quotes, quips, whatever, all over her car. You could barely see the back of her car because of everything that was on it. Well, she was at a red light. The lady in front of her apparently was distracted using her phone and she was talking or texting or whatever. The light turned green. She waited uh, too long before moving. So the, the lady in this car decorated with religious jargon, just her temper just got away from her. She began to honk her horn and put her fist out the window and started shaking her fist, said some very unkind uh, words. Finally, the lady in front of her realized what was going on. She pulled through. The lady with the religious jargon uh, turned the corner. Well, a police officer pulled her over. Police officer walked up to her and she said, what I do wrong? He said, well, nothing except with everything going on with your car and what's on your car and the way you beha behaved, I just assumed you had stolen the car. <laughs> Listen, I tell you, she... <laughs> Two things were going on. This officer was getting mixed messages. One, on one hand, she was a religious person. She was a person of great faith. She had all of this religious jargon on her car. Two, she was a woman who lost control. She had anger issues. They got away from her, and she began to do and say things unbecoming of her. He was just kind of confused, right? Now, to be honest... We all struggle with that. We all have those times when we act in a way unbecoming of ourselves, out of character. It's really not who we are. That's really not our nature, but we just allow human nature to kind of step in. And before you know it, we've done something that uh, is just out of character. Now, listen, here's the good news. These times don't have to be fatal, all right? They may be embarrassing as all get out, and we may have to do some apologizing if we can find that person to apologize to. We may have to confess. We may have to do some of those things, but these blip times don't have to be fatal. What we do is we do uh, set our minds to do better. I'm gonna do better next time I'm put in a situation like this. I have some friends who own horses and they tell me, the best thing to learn about riding a horse is if you get thrown off or you fall off, you jump right back on and get back on that horse. Well, that's pretty good advice for me. When I get out of character, when I lose my cool, when I say things I shouldn't, when I act in ways unbecoming, I need to get back on that horse. Hey, I, I, may, I might need to apologize. I might need to confess. I might need to repent, do all those things. But then I jump right back on, on that horse of walking the walk and talking the talk and trying to be like Jesus, right? Those blip times don't have to be fatal. Listen, there's some good news in those thoughts. You think it over. Have a great day. I'm Scott Shepard, and this is good news for you.